What's up, everybody? Hey, check it out. You know what time of the year it is. Look, everybody bringing something to either the job, taking it to a picnic, but this right here, you're gonna wanna keep it cold, right? Look, today I'm gonna show you guys just how easy it is to make. Listen, this is just a, a delicious, you know, guacamole. Hey, nothing to it, let's get it. Okay, folks, look, we are gonna go over these ingredients because it's not a whole lot, right? I'm using fresh, you guys can get them out of the can how you wanna do it, but because I'm telling you this is gonna be over the top, so why not go with fresh, you know, ingredients, right? So look, we got tomato, we got lime, garlic cloves. Look, I'm gonna be using red onion. You know what, a lot of people like to use white onion. I like the taste of the red onion and I like the color that it gives also. We got cilantro. And look, I'm almost scared to pick this up right here because check this out. This jalapeno, hey, and y'all can see it. I got big hands, I got it. Hey, look at this right here. Ain't this a big jalapeno? Hey, anyway, that, and then we're gonna talk about having the star. And that's these, uh, these avocados right here. Look, I'm in California right now. So look, California avocados, way to go. Now, these are kind of like a little bit on the soft side. You wanna like pick them. You guys gotta know how to pick them. You don't want them to be too hard because then it's gonna be hard to mash. You want them to be just when they're starting to get soft, right? So we got that. You gotta have salt, pepper, and listen, you guys use whatever you wanna use, but I'm gonna be using these Tostitos. Look, these are them scoops. I use these for everything. Hey, these are the best right here. All right, now, with that being said, let's work. Okay, so look, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off by, you know, just cutting my avocado. I think all of us know how to cut it like this. And we just take it, make sure you got a sharp blade. We just take it and go all the way around like this. And then what we wanna do is get it over there. And as you see, look, it just comes out just like that. Now, I'm gonna take this spoon, right? I'm gonna take it like this. Look, I just run it between the skin and the, you know, and the meat, right? So we take it like that. Look at this, folks. You see how they come out like that? Nice, right? Then I take my bowl, bring this over here and just drop it in. Okay, so look, I didn't really show you guys this, but like everybody know, if you take a knife, hit it like that, you can just loosen it up like that and then take it out, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and grab it like this. You just wanna hit it like that. If you move it around like that, it just comes out, it's nice and clean. Now let me take this off, then we're gonna use that same, you know, tablespoon to just go ahead and clean it out and drop the flesh inside. All right, so look, now we're gonna go ahead and just cut our tomatoes, right? Look, we just wanna dice these up and you dice them up in the, you know, however you guys like them. Okay. So look, now tomatoes cut up. Look, now we're gonna go ahead and just cut up this giant, man, I don't wanna say nothing crazy about it, but this jalapeno. Oh, check this out, folks. Notice I got gloves on. You wanna wear something, because I can tell you this, it seems like every time I fool with something like this, like anything that's hot, especially with jalapenos, for some reason, I always end up touching my eye. So let me just go ahead and cut this out. Then we're gonna cut this down and then we're gonna dice this up. All right, jalapenos done, tomatoes are diced. Now you can dice your tomatoes down how you like them. You know what I mean? A lot of people like to get a tomato, you know, something nice when they hit that scoop, right? So I can dice mine a little bit on the bigger size, right? So now we're gonna go ahead and just take our line. All right, and then last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and, you know, prep the cilantro. Now, I don't wanna bore you guys. You gotta do it however you like to do it. You know what I mean? But for me, I just gather it all up and I just chop it like, like how you see. Okay, so look, you wanna get yourself one of these masters like this, right? So look, after I got everything prepped, I'm good. The, lim the lime is gonna play a part, you know what I mean? So just take this and just work this down. This is why you don't want it to be too mushy. You know what I mean? When you pick your avocados, you want them to be just like how you see right here. This doesn't take long, but I'm gonna show you guys the texture in just one second. On this right here, my friends, I think we there. Take a look at that. Okay, so look, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start adding our ingredients, right? As long as we got clean hands, you know what I mean? I like to work with my hands, right? So listen, I'm gonna add my tomato. I'm just gonna grab some of this right here. You guys can do it however you wanna do it. Listen, if you've been cooking in the kitchen, you know you've been washing your hands, you know, repeatedly. That was a large onion, I mean a large tomato, so I'm only gonna add so much and then I'll add some more to it, right? Now I'm gonna come, Man, I'm scared to even touch that jalapeno. You know what I mean? We just go like this, and we just put this in here like that. I know it's gonna take all of this jalapeno though. Right? So, after this, now we're gonna go to the onion. Right? We take the onion. I'm just add a little bit here. I kind of like eyeball it. It's really supposed to be a small onion. You know what I mean? I had like a little bit of a, a larger onion, but that's fine there. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and take 
my pepper. Let me go ahead and get my hands clean. Just wait one second. Let me just wash this. Cause look, you don't want to transfer anything from the jalapenos onto this. Cause later on I'm gonna touch it and it all end up in my eye. All right, so onions on top. I'm gonna go ahead. It's no real particular order that you guys can do this. You know, just the main thing is, this is like one of them dump and goes. You want to get it all in here. And if you've been watching me for a minute, you know how I tell you guys, look, we got to get that pepper in there, folks. This right here, give it that, give it that character. Smooths everything out, gives it a nice little taste, and then you can't do nothing, especially when you say avocado. You got to have a couple of pinches of that kosher salt. Whew, that's it right there, folks. Then that's where we're going to start, right? Now, ah, now we got to put a smile on my face. Hey, break out your, your garlic press. Right? And then look right here. Ah, yeah. Why is this so gratifying to me? You know what, maybe because of all of the years I've been mentioning stuff from my granny and my mama, you know? So, got that done. Now we take our rubber spatula and we just start rolling this and folding this over, you know? Look at that right there. Yeah, I'm gonna do it like this so you guys can just see it just start to take form. And it smells incredible. Hey, I don't know if y'all can see that, but I got a bag on the side and it's starting to like jump. Listen, them scoops is ready to just grab some and get down. They want to eat some too. And then now that we right here at that last little part, I'm gonna come with my cilantro. And now we mix again. Well, you know what? I'm gonna quit saying that because the proper term would be because it's like soft, right? You don't want to just like mash it into a paste. I'm gonna just say we fold it in just like this. Okay, so look, now we finna give up the pro tips, right? Look, we wanna keep everything nice and fresh, right? So now we are gonna go ahead and grab that lime. I'm gonna put this in like this and I'm just finna get some fresh lime juice over the top of this right here. Okay, so now we just give it our last little fold over. You know what I mean? This right here keeps it fresh, keeps any browning, any of that staleness. And look, the real pro tip is gonna come from when you gotta get some uh, saran wrap. Look, because when you get the saran wrap, I like for this to be, you know, not just me, everybody like for it to be. Look, we all want to have it where it's sitting on top of here. You want to put your saran wrap. Let me just show you how we do it. Okay, so look, just get your saran wrap. We just want to get this. You want it to be a little bit over on the bigger side, right? So let me just get this down like that. Now, look, take it. You want it to be a little bit on the looser side. So you can get it down. What I'm doing is just making some of some of this air evacuate, evacuate, right? So we just want to keep it down like this. Just like a little tip that I had learned. I learned this on the internet, folks, to keep everything fresh. Now, even if you have a lid or whatever, or you can cover it like this, you know, I can put a little bit more, but actually it's sealed still. But look, you could just keep it like this, and this is what you want. Now I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator and let it chill. And then after it chills, I'm gonna probably put it in there for maybe about an hour or so, and then we finna taste this. But this is what you wanna have, something that look just like this. Okay, so look, it's been an hour. Everybody talking about they can't wait. I done removed the saran wrap. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill it. I'm just showing you guys how I would present it. You guys can tell me how you would do your own, but you put this out right here, just like you see, and this right here do it. So look, if you got people coming over, you know what I mean? We about to go into the NBA playoffs, you know, something like that, you put this out. This will do it, folks. And then notice that I got the right tool for the job, right? Because we want to get all of the, you know, guacamole inside. But I mean, look at that right there, folks. All right, so look, you see my presentation. One thing I didn't say, you know, I wanted to say this, and I like to say this in all of my videos, we got to taste as we go. I have been tasting it, but I'm sorry. I forget, Forgive me, you guys, for not saying that, but this is just right. I put the right amount of salt on there, and when I tell you it pop, it pop. And listen, I'm going to tell you guys the real truth. When you make it right, it's going to be great. For all those people that say they don't do avocados and don't do guac, this right here is fire. Hey, just that you don't even really taste the, 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 the lime juice. You can taste it, but listen, it's just like a little bit of a hint. All I can tell you is try it just like this. Go down in the description box below, look at the recipe, and then come back and let me know what you guys think if you ain't never made it. And then what would you do to overdo it? You know what I mean? Send it over the top. Now, I feel like I'm rambling. I'm trying not to over talk you, but check it out. I'm gonna go ahead. I don't know if y'all can tell. Look, we've been knocking it off off the top. So listen, I can tell you this right now. Look, I done already broke that one. Mm. But this right here is fire, folks. Cheers. Mm. 
It never gets old. I'm gonna give up a little information about myself. And there's a reason I put these little gems in these videos like this. I call them gems, because listen, if you remember this, I'm gonna have some trivia, and those who win and can get the answer to me first, I'm gonna give you guys a bit, you know, a, a nice prize. Now listen, I love tomatoes only when they stewed, or I love them, in, you know, obviously I, I love ketchup, you know, stuff like that. I cannot eat a raw, you know, tomato, right? But when I do guac, and you make it this way, I can eat the tomato, you know, just as, as if it was a slice. This right here, the combination of all of those flavors together, just tones it down and gives it a nice, you know, flavor profile. Now, like I said earlier, I want you guys to take a look at these, you know, try these, come back, let me know what you think, you know what I mean? But most of all, I really wanna know, cause I know some of you guys out there, you know, got them, them real chef brains, right? So I want you guys to tell me, what would you do to level this guac up. Now, with that being said, I wanna say this part. Don't forget, I got these boards. If you like these boards right here, listen, you can get these in four easy payments. And check it out, when you make your first payment, the board ships right out, you know, they don't hold you back or nothing like that. Just wanna let you guys know, and don't forget, check it out, I got that swag for you folks, and those of y'all in the kitchen. You know what, and I don't know if you guys can see that. You see that S&G right there? Oh yeah. That's it. Now, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there, listen, it's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. With that being said, I got a tribe to feed behind the camera. So guess what? I'm out. Peace.